I always like us. So let's let's just speculatively say that we have three thousand politicians. Okay. Right. Mm. Each three thousand, they have four children. Mm. That's twelve thousand people. Mm. So is it this twelve thousand that spends forty billion dollars? They go to the for, for, for the last. No, no, I'm just no, no, no. I'm just saying. Let us be realistic. I'm mm. helping you to be realistic. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Like, these these rich guys. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that spent 40, 000, 40 billion no, no, no. dollars in no, the last ten years. Not of course not. Alone. So the point Hold is that because the person I'm talking, the person I told you that is looking for seventeen thousand dollars, mm. she doesn't have a father, mm. she doesn't have a mother. Mm. She is working her way up. She's saving money for the past few years, mm -hmm. putting together and converting. Mm. It's not just. It's always easier for us to think. There's only those 3,000 politicians that are doing it. Absolutely no, not. That's but the not thousands right. of us. I'm looking at the so percentage then, and the choicest of schools they will go to no, not, because that will also it's increase. It's not choices so about money. It's about what if you can have access mm, to. It, you it, care no, 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 no. It also increases the. You know, we know these choice schools ha have their their fees are higher than the regular schools abroad. That's you the know. truth. So if we are in terms of volume now, because we're looking at the amount of money that is spent, you will see that those ones. They may be smaller in number, but they make up the majority in terms of the volume of the money that goes away. Somebody gives me a specific data. Okay. I'm not going to believe that. We're okay. all speculating. So, okay. We're all speculating. Okay. So we're all speculating, but, but I want to... Let me just... Let, let, let her finish on this point. So, um, we may be speculating, but I believe strongly, and I'm sure after the show, someone will may be able to help us with, that the bulk of that money is spent by that very few. And that is what makes it even more, um, more of a problem. That those... That's very um, few number of people have access to that sort, um, that amount of money, and they're spending it abroad. One politician, you know, would be able to, he would, you, you said one child, um, four, four children. children. He would be able to take those four children there. Also travel abroad. Also wife will go abroad. Also, you know, back and forth like that. They are also able to go back and forth many times. The other cadre that you are talking about, maybe the middle class, the Once. child will go. And will not come back until after four years. Yes. And as you know, Akola said, sometimes you are working and also earning your money and Most using to the pay. Time. The truth is, one why Nigerians always scream at government is that they are the ones that have access to most. When they say, oh, people are converting money to dollars, who are the people that have access to a lot of money like that? They are the ones. Yeah, let me and they also understand how it works, you know, when they are making money off Forex. They're the ones that benefit from yeah, it so more than any of us. Ask, they also have access to getting the money at the official rates. Me and you cannot go to a bank now and say we are traveling and they will give us money. We will go and, go and look for mala and buy it at the uh, black market rate. So at the end of the day, it seems like they are ripping off the taxpayers and using it to... And that's the anger of many Nigerians. So we say we all want to cut down. Nobody wants to stress themselves looking for dollar here and there to get the basics of life. We want to be able to do things here, buy things here. I'm into production right now. And my uh, 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 Nigerian products are costlier than the foreign ones. And then somebody walks into my shop to say, ah, I'd like to buy this your soap. I'd like to buy this your body oil. Ah, but I saw one that they are selling in so-so and so supermarket. It's cheaper now. Can you? I cannot because the cost of uh, uh, the materials that I'm buying here is also imported because of the kind of product I, I want. And while I infuse it with a local product, I still have to import some things that we do not have. So this, this issue here eh, is deep. The appeal I want to give to Nigerians is, I know many economies, like the Indian economy, the Chinese economy, one of the ways they grew was that they were patient with their own local manufacturers. We need to be patient. And they shut out the international. Yes, we need to be okay. patient with. So if you buy a product, a locally made, we sew clothes here, locally made clothes here, right? And then you find that the tailor is struggling with measurements. It's for you to keep you know, giving feedback on, is there any way you can improve on your me measurements? But we don't have the patience to mm -hmm. add because you bought the clothes, it's bad, you don't want to go back yeah, again. Yeah. And you cancel out that person. Those people that grew their economy, they, they buy the shoe that you made. They in eat the chocolate, place. the horrible chocolate. We need to make sure it's healthy first. Yeah, and once it's healthy, <laughs> you once buy we know the shoe. Healthy, yeah. Yeah, it we buy the shoe. The shoe is bad. <laughs> the shoe that's supposed to last you for two years, lasts you for only six months. You go back to the manufacturer, this is bad. Is there any way you can... Make it better so that okay. at least let me, it's let me now you're making us need to be patient. Let me take this call from Victoria. She's been holding for a while. Good morning, Victoria. You're live. <laughs> Hello. Victoria, go ahead, please. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, very clearly. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to say, first of all, I agree with Mariah. Because the rich people, they are small proportion. And two, there's nothing wrong with our education because education we are going to study 
outside. We pay for it, it is not free. And there are a lot of private schools with world-class education that they send their children to. So it is a choice. Number three, we seem to underestimate the jackpot people. For the past three years, almost every one of us know at least most people that have jackpot, jackpot through the education route. Not because they could afford it, they borrow money to go. So the middle class is actually contributing a lot more than the rich people. The rich people have their children in the very expensive schools in Nigeria. We all know that. If you want to see rich children. And, but for us that we are struggling, because, of course, we want to have that, like, some, like, like I think someone said on your shoes, it's just for, it's just to show that you have children abroad. A lot of them can't afford it. For people that can afford it, they would rather send their children to the very rich schools and they would get the quality education that they want. Thank you very much, Victoria. Mm. Since in this our country, that one president said, I only have a ranch, and I, I'm very Nigerian, but then all the children, and in fact, under his administration, all the ministers went to do their, even the vice president went to graduate their children abroad. vocation abroad. Oh. So, hmm. it goes back to... <laughs> everybody. Well, we have not answered it goes one back question. to what, there's, there's a song that Felasa, one of his songs, uh, I think, his teacher don't teach me nonsense, where he mm. says, you know, he starts from when the child goes to school, teacher teaches the child, lecturer teaches teacher, teacher teaches the government, is everybody's teacher. Mm. And then, when government starts it, culture and tradition starts. That's how we got here. When government started to do, I've read Nigeria before, I didn't even know that medical care abroad was an option because yes, no. some people did, my grandfather did not know plane until he went to Hajj. They don't know plane. But government people are the people, just as Miriam was trying to say, that can access these huge funds and this huge lifestyle. Really? And before you know it, every middle class man now wants to just go and come back. I just get back. Mm -hmm. You know, I just went on a break. All right. It became a culture. <laughs> there's, there's and tradition. A vacation. Everybody were doing you know, it. I, you see, like, but I, I, how do we change see, it? Anyway, we see, need to the reason why I strong. don't want us to have the easy conversation of saying government, because mm -hmm. that is the most... Mo, for you me, know listen, me. Let, me, let me, I know. Uh -huh. Because for me, it's a that. given. It's, a, it's, it's, it's what we say all the time. Should we ignore but, it? But, no, no, not ignore it. But I go to house parties or to church. Hi, how are you? Ah, oh, she's abroad with the children. They say it to touch confidence yeah, and pride. The culture Wait, now. I'm just saying. It's so, there you now. See, the government started parties, by government. Mima. Yes, they started it is here. Mm -hmm. They've done it. Mm -hmm. We've crossed that bridge. Now mm -hmm. we are here. All of us are doing it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's how do we move forward? Mm -hmm. government so, if we like, stay on this conversation. Wait, government, you can't right, you, 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 you mm -hmm. be So, I'm saying that you go to church, you go to your house parties, and all the conversation, oh, they are brought my kids, my wife's are there, my wife and the children are there. Oh, really? When are they going? We're going next week. You know, it's such it is. So, we have we, we normalized it. The point is that how do we move forward? We can sit down here and condemn government to tomorrow. But, but Lili, how do we move forward from where we are? Do what? we? Do we, do we tell the woman mm. whose mother is about to be 80 in September, the Swiss lace she has ordered from, from, Swiss, from, 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 from Switzerland or from Austria, she should cancel the order today because she's patriotic. Okay. Let us be realistic. Okay, let me, let me explain something to you. I think that we're also mixing okay. up, which is um, in other climes, right, the, what we are calling the middle class, don't, wor don't worry, I'm getting us somewhere. People who work hard for their money, mm. they spend their money anywhere, travel anywhere. The government is not supposed to be, the government is supposed to be the one that um, uses the money in their country. Mm. So the way we're doing it here in Nigeria, our government officials are sending their children abroad. They're the ones living the biggest lifestyle. In other climes, the government, when you are in government, you sacrifice. You are the one that, you are the one that has to give the example of my yes. children are in my country, yes. I'm eating this. The people, the middle class, they are the ones that have the... Um, Control. The, 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 yes, to spend their money anyhow because they have worked for it. Mm. Here, we're having government officials competing with Nigerians mm. who are working, working hard. Thank you. Thank you. So you be seeing people sending their children abroad and everything. Now you're in government, you have now decided to use Nigeria's money uh -huh. to get that money. So I get it somewhere. Yeah. So I get it somewhere. I love, I love that. Let's not go far. We're just crazy. Just so this, this, so this man, no, 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 no. We're, we're having a conversation. Yeah, yes, I'm trying yeah. to understand so Nigerians can mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. This guy, this government guy, yeah. you never owe bail, so. You don't have as in where you didn't produce anything, yeah. you didn't no sell shit. anything, mm -hmm. you don't produce, you like just, you just yeah. enter government. Like now you have no money, you enter first class and your children. But this one is working hard. Yes, for their money. And then. And Can then? I add something, Nima? Mm -hmm. Sorry, before you jump in. And there's a way governments in other climes try to 
um, help their people to want to spend more in inside. You know, the last guest we had here talked about an open market economy. That's what we are operating. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can now double on the taxes for you to buy those things that are imported. That your foreign taste, your yeah, money yeah, has to be now. very you large. Now, yes. Exactly. You double it yeah. to make more money for, for gov your go yes. for government. Mm -hmm. And then you don't, you don't stifle people. You don't tell people not to. You, if you want to, and you can afford it, and you can pay all the taxes and all the shipping rates and all that, go ahead. It was Ali Baba that told us that he had a friend that was in a whole container Mm. of, is it That's whiskey or liquor, or what, what, what it was, within a week, this same Nigeria that they said there's no money, mm -hmm. that everybody is struggling for dollar, finished within a week. Mm -hmm. Who is to blame? Is it government? Who bought mm -hmm. it? Is it only government politicians? Let well, us begin to curb and let us begin to curb and be tensional the government about our taste. I've made a strong point. Can I block some market, so? Let me, and be known, let me pause you. I have to talk from Kano. <laughs> don't forget, don't forget. Yeah, write it down. down. Um, talk from Kano. You're live. Oh, oh she, we lost her. I'm so sorry. Talk by you there. Oh, yeah, you lost. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. So this strong point Miriam made is the point itself. In the sense that as every administration comes in and they are cowards about changing this taste issue, mm. they are cowards because even this present National Assembly Senate and House of Assembly justified the foreign cars. Oh. Year on year. It's not us. It's in the budget. Somebody made it. They're not saying no, 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 no. Stop, stop. I know we've made, let's amend. Let's say no. Let's start to make it the in thing yeah. to consume and buy Nigeria. No, yeah. they don't do that. They don't want to make it the in thing. They make excuses. Then we go to the same National Assembly to put down the issues Everybody says, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the way, they know, they shake their, you see the, the expressions, mm. all sorts. Oh, and like for all three different parties, oh, as soon parties, as you finish talking, my child, I'm trying to get the dollar for your school fees abroad, don't worry. Don't mind that minister, he was correct, but it's not from us it will start. Mm. That's why we're here. That's why we are. We're looking in the mirror, and this culture, has eaten deep into us. Everybody's now saying, I cannot die for the country. Mm. Please, who do you want to die for? Which country will you die for? Mm. As we speak now, the lowest of the low, mm. a Nigerian army official did a video saying 50,000 naira salary, I cannot afford 70,000 to visit my family. I'll go back to the bush. They, they uh, caught Marshall that guy. Mm. Oh my God. But that's the reality of the, our quest for everything foreign, mm. everything dollar. Yeah. Those people who are dying for the country, mm. they cannot afford, in fact, they cannot afford basics anymore. Yeah. Talk less of luxury. But we will still say, no, it's not my turn to fast. Let them fast. Let me take this call from Sarah, calling from Abuli Egba. Thanks for calling your live. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for your Welcome to the show. Please, I just want to call me in the absence of children going abroad to school, you understand? I want to talk experience, the experience I had with my children. You understand? Yeah. Some of the children that are traveling there, not that they have money to do that, but because of what they are going through in our country here, it makes them to take the decision of going there to have, to have a living. I just want to tell you, I have a daughter that sat for them five times. Trying to go to school. Even the last time she sat for that jam, the fifth year, I was actually begging her because she was crying. But seeing that she could not go through for one reason or the other, not that she's failing her exams, her jams, but because she could not even enter school, all her mates have graduated, she decided to go and do makeup, to learn makeup, and plan for herself to travel out. You understand? Seeing that she has made that move, we decided to support her as parents by selling my car. You understand? What point am I trying to make is that some of the children, some of us that are children are traveling over to that place, is not because we have one, but because of the problems that we are, we are passing through in our country, yes. And that is why they are making that move. Imagine, I have a, a close sister that got there to Canada, and getting there, she was given a credit card. Immediately she got there. They made plans for her to pay her school fees, which is easy for her. Some of them go a long way to work. You understand? Just to get that education they could not get from their country. And so, some of the people that are there, they don't because they have money. 
Thank you, Sarah. I mean, yes, yeah, so when you go to when you, when you go abroad like that, certainly, I mean, with the money they are giving you, somebody stacks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this stack that it's is not benefiting. Money it's, it's, that they give it. you, you work, they Yeah, you, you collect it, but so I'm just saying, it's still tax. But you going back it. to, I want to, the, the issue of education and healthcare, because I remember Aisha Sese was saying that, uh, thanking Nigerian doctors for saving her mother, I believe, when, when she was really critically ill in Sierra Leone at the time. She was brought here. And she was brought to, to, to Lasso. To Lasso, Remember you know, from Sierra Leone. Ebola. It was from yes. As well. So they came in there. So you came to, to Ada Devil's oh, hospital. Uh, yes. First, uh, first okay, something. Yeah. Um, yeah. First cardiology. First cardiology. cardiology yes, in Ikoyi. So in, to some people, we have the quality hands here. We do. Our infrastructure we might not be perfect. So I'm just saying that because we always put out this narrative that we have the worst hospital facilities, we have the worst education. I keep saying it that these same people, because I know a lot of Nigerians. Well, I know a family a couple, mm. husband and wife, they're both doctors in the U.S. Mm. And they are not just pet doctors. Mm. One is a radiologist, the other is a, um, is a lymphologist. Mm. Now, these two are high-level doctors. Mm. They did their first degree here. Mm. They were practicing here. When they went there, they only had to do about one or two exams. Eventually, they started working. So it wasn't as if they had to go back to school. No. So the point I'm trying to make is that we have the foundation here, but we have sold the narrative that Nigerian education is so bad that everybody, even though you, you want to look for admission, you just say, let me just go abroad. Yes, the narrative started from government started. pushing out the narrative that your education is for you. My kids is for foreign. For better yeah. life. It has been since time and it has become our culture. Now, there's a medical show they do on these kids' TV, on the cable channels. <laughs> and one day I was watching, a child was on, um, what's it called, for... for kidney um, removal, dialysis, yeah, okay. in one of the NHS hospitals there. His name was clearly a full Yoruba name, name and surname. So I was interested, I was saying to my children, oh, I see Nigerian child on your kidney contribute. And I sat with them to watch. And the child's mother was answering that, ah, even though we are not, uh, you know, it's because of the insurance. They don't have insurance in our country. Mm. Government officials also go over there for a proper healthcare insurance, knowing Healthcare is not cheap anyway. Yeah. Rather than putting that machinery here so that a person can be able... Do you know what dialysis is here? Mm. With this dollar increment, do you know what people now have to resort to? We are on groups donating money. Rather than having somebody say, okay, no, access here for healthcare insurance. Mm. This culture must start it, from government, government deliberately mm. saying this is the mm. new way forward. Yeah. Every single official, this is the way forward. In fact, it should be an impeachable offence. A removal offense for any appointee of government. But the government official can argue that before I came to government, That's I was earning my money. Come to government. Hey, you you okay. No, so okay. is it, is it Papa Sigrika that no. will now become your government? Okay. 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 So I'm so asking no. you now. Okay, okay no. Because okay. before, if, you, if I was educated... Papa Sigrika was more honest. Wait. So Papa Jonah is Nigerian with wait, his full chest. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe Finish. without English in his mouth, mm -hmm. it should be our government. Finish your thoughts. Let me respond to you. Let Mariam jump in. I think I've my My thought is that... Which I've lost, but I'm trying to get it back. Yeah, no, I, I, you're, you, were <laughs> saying, you were saying that uh, if someone who is already making their money yeah, yeah. has made their money exactly. and they come into government. So, for example, you made your money, you're yeah. making your money, and say, you know, tomorrow, you're a good person, Obiajulu, please become the governor of a state. Yeah. And you're like, oh, sure, yeah. you're not getting into government. And because you've made your money, you're in government, you are, they told you that you're lovely, Kaima. Let her go to local school. That, they remove her from that to private school. She must not enter public school. No. That university, she can't go abroad anymore because okay. you are now in government. Okay, okay. let me tell you yeah. why th that is not even a big deal and how it works in the other climb. Yes. When um, Trump became... When, when <laughs> Trump became... And you like to choose other climbs when it's convenient. Okay. No, yes. to just to change. So to that buttress. Can, yes, okay. to buttress. So that we can understand, to give us perspective. When Trump became president, mm. he was going... and. Of course, he had to move to the White House. It was beneath what he had always, the sort of houses he had lived in. They went into the White House. They thought it was poor people's house because he's a billionaire, comes from a billionaire family. So they had to do other things to, you know, sort of shore sure. it up. And then he would use, if his children had to um, go to school anywhere, he's able, because when you become president there, you're supposed to show what your, of course, um, Trump is not a very good example, but you're supposed to Schools, show what yeah. your, um, what your wealth is, yeah. your net worth is, you know, how much as, money you have. And then you're able to separate how much it is that you had and you're spending from government money. Mm -hmm. Remember we heard from Michelle Obama that 
when they were president, yeah. they paid for their food. Yes. So this thing, uh, uh, okay, I was going but to... Ma wait, wait, let me say, I'm, wait, let me say, I'm, I'm going back to the fact where you're saying that the conversation, the easy conversation here is government. about government. Yes. And I want to say that it is not. That mm. is the main conversation. That is the serious conversation that we don't yes. really look at. Yes. If a person coming into governance understands, if many Nigerians understand that it may require me to be less of myself, Many Nigerians will not go in there. Go there. A lot of reasons why we have politicians killing themselves sometimes yeah. to get appointments, to get elected, is because they know that they can make much more than they, you know, than they already make. Why do they? Why is corruption such a huge um, crime? It's because you sit down. All you have to have is a pen and paper, and you make yourself a millionaire. All you have to do is pen and paper. Meanwhile, somebody has woken up for the last 25 years, morning and night hustling back and forth, putting their monies together. Mm. If you know that you go into government mm. and all you have to do is spend the money that comes to you as salary or as your allowance, many people won't go in there because they'll rather use their efforts and their resources to make money for themselves. But now we're, uh, we're going and we're, we're chopping Nigerians' money, enriching ourselves with it, and then we now sit back. And now tell Nigerians, change your taste. Okay, when it's you. really right. about you, Let me stop you. stealing from Nigerians so yeah. that they can use their money and invest in the industries right. that will make their economy better and their Naira stronger. Let me take this call from Festus, call from Kito. You're live. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I am still on my point, too. New person. There are times where you talk, and there are times where you need action. Nigeria is not about drama, it's about action. Let the government ban unnecessary importation. Why must we be importing toothpaste? And all those related items, you know them. Something you can do without. Like that, going to China. Some people are specialized in importing fake goods. Fake goods with our own Naira. You convert it to dollar and bring in, you know, moribund goods. Why? <laughs> then the next thing is for government. I said it the other time when you, you invited one man here. I said they should withdraw the licenses of Burundi team and go and arrest all these malam. We should have only one exchange. Okay, I remember his if, we, if, if we are not tough, I am telling you, we just be speaking grammar. Thank you. Alfred, uh, um, Bismarck, we want to address that thing. Mm -hmm. It's just said on, on the show yesterday. I watched it, so maybe you can watch yeah, that video. So Go ahead. Let me uh, make it clear that if you want to be a leader and make an impact, you need to be able to feel the pains of the people. One of the reasons why we keep saying things over and over, and it seems like there is no movement in the right direction to sort out the problem, is because the leaders do not feel what we're feeling. They would fill it on paper. They will calculate the data. They will send people to the field, go and ask, how are they doing? Is this making impact and all of that? They are not experiencing it. And for you to make effective change in that area, you must feel it so that by the time they are complaining that the potholes are there, you have passed the pothole. It has damaged the, uh, what's this thing, the bushing of your car. And you understand exactly what the <laughs> Madam Sikera is talking about. Now, if you are someone who's inspired to lead and serve others, you can, there's something about service that it has to do with humility. You cannot serve from a place of pride and aloofness. You must be humble. And that humility requires that there are some things that you must remove from your life. So if peradventure, you mentioned Kaima now, is in a very private school, and I decide to get into yeah. government. I have worked for my money. It's yeah. my money I've been using yeah. since. So. And I get into government. I will pull high away from that school and put it in a public school. I went to a public school. What's the difference? It won't even, I won't even think about it two times because I know her destiny is not tied to the school. Now that she's in that school, I will not want her to stay at home for two months, three months, five months. I will insist that the lecturers are paid properly. I will insist that the school is equipped because now I have personal interest. What we see is that our leaders do not have personal interest. They will only talk so that people will hear what they say, but because they are not personally attached to it, okay. we can only talk and you will not see the action. Now we want to get your attention home. Mm. Because when you have divided attention, you know how much 
how far you can get and how far you cannot get. Mm. We want your attention home, which means that the hospitals that Nima is using is where you are using. You know that time when they send people to come and investigate the hospitals and everybody is quickly cleaning, the doctors are well behaved, the nurses, everybody is sitting up and all mm. of that. You don't need to do that anymore because the governor can walk in any day Let me ask you a question. to have medical care. The government comes today and says, because you're an influencer, mm. you're a TV presenter, and we want Nigerians to begin to change their thinking, mm. we also want you to join the politicians in making the sacrifice. Mm. All your children should start using public schools. All our children should start, all of us start going um, to public hospitals. Would you agree? If they show me an example that they have started, I will. Why not? No, no, no. So they have I said, to start. With the example of the chocolate, where mm. I said, you know, mm. I am not that patriotic mm. that I would, um, you know, that I would put my, my, my oh. life and my, my family's health in danger. Mm. If you ask me to put my children in the public school, are you doing the job of making sure that the money that is meant for schools, for training teachers, for building infrastructure, is put there? Yeah. It's not about just saying put my children there. Yeah. Do you know what? Children. The reason why our children are not in these schools is not because we just hate the way buildings look in Nigeria or the way Nigerian teachers look or teach. It's because we know that we are not doing the best that we could have done in in, you know, in the health sector, I mean, in the education sector. Mm -hmm. Have you built us nice schools that were not there? It is exposure is your problem. Wait, is there, have because you, you have watched I've, DSTV no. and seen that, oh, these are beautiful schools. Before, before we, wait now, the no, no, exposure will be no, our no, problem. No, 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 no. How about the training? Yeah, we, okay. okay, me that I went to ABU Zari, am I, is my university as beautiful as Harvard? Of course not. So, it's, uh, whatever. I know. But we went there, we got the education with all. I'm, I'm, I'm just even it. saying, I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that the quality mm. of education we have not we have, we have not invested in we have it quality we infrastructure used is our to problem. have okay we used to okay let me let me, have, let me take this call help. people we, have 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 no we have quality we if, we, if we don't have quality fashola will not be governor they, will not be there. Hold fashola, please. we will not okay we are still we see happy with their, me i still happy with our, that they just they just travel and they graduated first class there was a first class graduate here yes. she came here yes. and she she she's so she has so it's so, spite of what is happening in nigeria nigeria Friday, Friday, that that's to what's happening. Good morning, Friday. Let's take a few comments on social media, ladies, please. Friday. Yeah, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Mario, good morning. Good morning, good morning. sir. Uh, I beg, I'm one of your biggest fans, but I do work your show every time. I want thank to you, sir. Thank you for your efforts and everything that you people are doing. Thank you, sir. Uh, Go yeah, ahead. Good morning, Mario. Yeah, I want to thank you so very much. For we heard you. Go you, ahead. You know, beautiful lady has been doing in this uh, You have been doing one. But one thing I wanted to contribute, you know, is solution to the problem. I don't think that uh, there's a... I don't think my concern is, you know, I think Nigeria, the way solution to the... Yeah, the solution to the... Yeah, listen to the TV. That's why he's repeating himself. Come, let me come to you, Nima. You know... Nigerians. Your mic, is, I'm told that your mic is off, I believe. Ah, Let's go on a short break. You want to, you want to shut your mic. Let's go on a short break. We'll come back. Oh, we'll Nima can have mic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Oh. Thanks for staying with us. While we're preparing to take some tweets, let's take a comment from Nima. Just before they took my voice. <laughs> you know, um, when you mentioned the issue of, you know, being compelled to go to public schools, yeah. I smiled. Because those of us who use public hospitals and public facilities see a different Nigerian when it is a government official, when it is a influencer that they know will do something. Imagine my child in a public school. It should be the best public school because they know the kind of parrot we born Yes. Mm. I don't have any time to be anybody's friend. I will be secrets. casting <laughs> and casting all the secrets life TV. publicly. Teacher did not mark my child. Teacher has not skin the resume. Either they evil lie the child because the mother, mother will not shut up. Which is like or they will now start to keep standards till this one just finished at six years. Do and go. Yeah, I have yeah, to Mary, call I have, you. I have a call from Atlanta, Georgia. Latif, what is international calls? Let's be taking them quickly. Latif, that's international Good preference Good again. Morning. Good morning, Latif. You're alive. <laughs> no, for you. Yeah, how are you? How are you doing, ladies? Good morning. Salam Malik, I think. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Salam Malik. <laughs> now, uh, problem over there, you know, our leader, they are not giving a good uh, example of life. You know, in most, in most, in most foreign countries, where you see their legislature like that, even in America, yeah, most of their government contractors, they use made in American groups. But our own, 
they will go to another place, they go and... Uh... Hello, can you hear me? It's really, is it, is it muffled? We can't hear you very well, but... I think your point is that in the U.S., it's, so you know... The, 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 the senators, they should be in the uh, members of the House of the Senate, they can accept it, they should take the full by the hand. But I mean, not most of my, another thing is that our our citizens, our case for work is just too much. They all want something from foreign, foreign, foreign. And this dollar that we are talking about, somebody took it from the central bank, it meant for something. See, that thing is not being attended to. We should all right. Such Thank you very much, Lassie. Let's give you comments on social media. Let's involve me. So I have this message uh, from on WhatsApp. She said, she said, my dad was commissioner for education in Old Oyo State. My younger sister did not go to Form 1, that's just one, until second term. She stayed home for one term because my mom wanted her to attend a private school. And my dad said no, that as a public officer, she has to go to either Queen's College or any other public school. So. The poor girl stayed home and my father got her a private tutor for that for term till she got admitted into the public schools. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Was then, sacrifice. It was not uncommon those days. We have the example. That's where we are going to, Nima. That's where we are going to sacrifice. Yeah. When I was asking that question, what do we do? What's the way forward? Sacri so yeah, but you said that his government should do the sacrifice. That we the people, uh -huh. we that work hard for our money, we shouldn't we, do. We, we, we come back. To we will eventually get there. I'm talking. I've said Fela called it culture and tradition, mm. and it starts from government. So government we should sacrifice first. See the Lagos said now. You're not wearing a dire. It's not council women that made it a fancy thing. Mm. That you know they did a full year. So in Adira in so many corporate styles. Mm. Now, even I have Adira, I'm looking at corporate styles to make out of it. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you why we'll go back to it. <laughs> um, I know that um, a lot of people in Lagos, for instance, want their children to go to the public schools. They hustle for it. Private schools. Pro public schools. No, I'm talking about the general. No, I'm not talking about people who have plenty of money, okay. right? I'm talking about the average, like the few women I've spoken to are hustling to get their children into the public schools, secondary schools in Lagos State because of the advancement that they've been making in the educational system. So they are seeing the effects of, you know, the, 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 the results of all the things they are doing and changing in Lagos State. And that's like the first option that you have. They are writing exams for unity schools the and, all of that, and the kind of schools too, right? Now, people will see the changes that happen. The problem is that we like to rush people to doing what we want them to do when we have not laid the foundation. When the ministers and the commissioners and the governors and president and all of that put their children into the schools and because now they have personal interests, the schools begin to do well. Nobody would advise you when you're comparing, how much do I want to pay in that school and compare to, even in that uh, public school, do you know that the commissioner's child is there? Even in this place, do you know that the governor's child is there? Nobody we'll would advise Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Who we'll put our children? Who we'll put our children there? They are lying. Yes. Who are lying. We'll so it. the thing is, yes. set the example. It's like how you are raising children and you are modeling. You are not telling them so much and pushing them to do what you mm -hmm. want them to do, but they are seeing you. By the time they start aligning, you are, you, you are thinking, ah, maybe it's the prayer I pray. No, it's the example that they have been imbibing. They've been seeing you. It's been seeping into their consciousness. And human beings, we like head mentality, mm. right? One of the reasons why we are going the way we are going is because everybody makes it trendy Japan. to go abroad. Yeah. Everybody makes it trendy to wear the nice outfits from Turkey and all those places. By the time we start doing our own thing, it becomes trendy yeah. and everybody will fall in line. And then it's also. Right, let me take um, Theophilus from my colleague, then I'll come to you, Mariam. Theophilus, you're live. Thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Yeah, um, I must confess, when I see smart ladies like this, because I know this country has a future, we have hope. It shows that now, out of the smart people that we know, like all of you now, um, you are not giving birth to plenty of people, so the children you are going to raise are few. The idiots out there, they are outbreeding us. You will, any of your neighbor that is poor, you will, 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 will recognize that they have much more children than you. Now, out of the few smart ones that would agree to give birth in this country, 90% of their children will be abroad. So, what, how, what does that give us? We have a multitude of idiots walking about here. The small ones are abroad. The small yes. ones like you that are supposed to raise plenty of children, you will want very few. Mm -hmm. I'm it's sorry, I, I, I'm having trouble hearing you. But did he, I'm also sure if you use the word idiot. You're not supposed to use what word idiot on national okay. television. I couldn't hear him properly, but okay. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Theophilus. Yes, so for me, it's, we're talking about the way forward. 
and sacrifice. sacrifice. So, okay, the way I see it, I draw, you know, <laughs> drawings in my head. Sacrifice with government officials where they agree to put their children in schools, use the facilities here in Nigeria, uh, our health care system here in Nigeria. It will send the right message, as we have all said here. Then, for those Nigerians who feel they have made their money, they worked out for their money, please allow me to spend how I want to. What, there are two things. It's either they also join in sacrificing for patriotic reason, or government decides to make money off their tastes. Okay. You tax them well, twice the amount, three times the amount, five times the amount to see how you can discourage them. If they say, we don't care, we are billionaires, we can spend the money, you make the money off that. And then what you don't do or what you should do is take that money you have made of those Nigerians that are insisting on their taste and invest it in the industries and the sectors that you want to see compete with the foreign ones. So you invest in our textile, you invest in our healthcare, you invest in our education. And what will eventually happen for this group of Nigerians with this taste, they will now recognize what I'm buying in Sokoto mm. is right here in my trousers, you know? And that's how the system is supposed to work. Where we've had issue is that when that money is taxed, then government that has access to these, um, you know, to, to these funds will use pen and paper and get it and use it for themselves. So that's why we have issues here. If we just follow the cycle the way it's meant to, mm. we will not even be discussing this. But we will not be talking question. about what is trending or what's not trending. Okay. People in government all over the world or very rich people have always sent their children in, to other countries to learn things. And then they come back with that knowledge and they, you know, it, it shows that you have money, it shows mm. that you have exposure. You come back with this extra knowledge and help your country with it. Right. So there's nothing wrong with those tastes, but that taste must make money yeah. for your country. Okay, point taken. Let me take you, Suf. Thanks for calling your, uh, your live. Yeah, uh, quite a, an interesting uh, topic that we're discussing here. One uh, major challenge that we're having uh, in terms of uh, dollar dominating Naira, one, uh, if I can afford, as, a, as an average Nigerian, if I can afford to send my children to private school, I will go extra and take them abroad. For what reason? And the reason is not far fetched. You spend expensively to send your children to private school here in Nigeria, they come out, there is no employment. But there are opportunities out there. So most people that are struggling to take their children abroad, it's not for just belonging to that class, but just the unemployment rate in the country is high. You have a graduate, uh, you know, at home roaming about the street, no work. So let's check unemployment rate in the country. Then decide that later. So you should be Comments. trying to tell yeah. us that it's not only about also expensive taste, it's also about survival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you are yeah. able to deal with taste and also the reason why people have to you know, Let's put the money together to run. Okay. We have to make sure that people... Go ahead, Emma. Immaculate Boy says, Mr. Kadoso telling us to help Naira. The suits, the tie, shoe he wore yesterday, <laughs> are they made in Nigeria? <laughs> His son schooled in the UK too. APC primaries in 2022, that were... The, were what, what were the delegates paid in? Mm. Naira or dollar? Nice. That Fisher. is my example. You see, I like that example because I want, one of the reasons, one of the things I want to achieve from this conversation is bring this thing home because you've not yeah. answered that auntie that wants to do her mother's party in Switzerland, mm. in a, but that's Swiss lace. Because we only have a few minutes left. So you are the governor. Mm. You, so what do we Nigerians expect you to do? So okay, we've talked about removing your children from private schools. Yeah. Um, you want to do a birthday party, what do you do? Mm. The suit you're wearing, the clothes you're wearing, the mm. perfume, you travel. We want, we need so Nigerians let me, to Let me tell you what our first lady can do. Okay. Ma, I know it, it, it may not even be her fashion thing, but if she carries that Nigerian brand fashion, whatever, and she wears it, mm -hmm. it's a big tool. Maryam Babangida revolutionized Ankara. the love for Nigerian styles and Nigerian mm -hmm. fabric. Mm -hmm. So that is what we should do for people who have those kind of platforms. Mm -hmm. You may not want to do anything, but if you do that, every time they see you in a Nigerian designer, or if you even want, you want to make it Ankara, something that is cheaper, so there are more Nigerians, you show how you can wear it. And when we see our first lady looking beautiful in our local fabric, Somba, local, yeah, 
Do you understand? So it would, you. It would it def yes, <laughs> help when we go for your meetings and all of that. Please serve bakery, serve kuli kuli, yes. locally made snacks. They should, know, they should not no, find no. any basmati rice in the Aso Villa. Even their furniture. Yes. Remember, you know, Melaya giving us his furniture for me. Is it Italy or something? Yeah, they bring in the everything. They bring in the all these. Those are the bad examples. Istanbul company. furniture. No way. Do you know his company? He's Nigerian. I don't know. Is he producing yeah. sugar or cement? Well, uh, he has he, he has foreign. Yeah. I think he has foreign investments. Mm. That's yeah. really so that Nigerian forex. money that we've turned to forex and using abroad our, to make so money. Let's use. Mo let me so, take this one. What we have here? says our governors are playing us street when it comes to actualization of better life for Nigerians. They collect two fifty million naira monthly, mm -hmm. which is a hundred and eight billion annually. When you times it by thirty six states of the federating units for security votes, while claiming that they are not in charge of their states' security. They hijack local government councils, killing primary and secondary school education, causing over 22 million kids that are now out of school. Yeah. They're creating a fertile ground for recruitment of kids into different terrorist groups like Boko Haram and all of that. Okay. So we have to run. And, um, and conflicts, illegal mining and all of that. We have to run. To so, for that. example, so Governor Sonwoli right now is watching TV where you can say, Okay, your suit, change it to Ankara suit. Yes. Your pants, it looks uh, better. Than then, then, no, I, Agbada, I don't think so. I don't think, Agbada, he looks, I don't think he lost the body for Agbada. Eh? No, which body? He, have you seen it? Yes. He looks like a Yoruba so. demon. Ah, he, nah, he, he does. He doesn't have. He doesn't have the body for Agbada. I'm telling you. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen a Nigerian, a proper Nigerian? He looks like a Yoruba demon. He doesn't look He's not chiseled in any way. No, no, he doesn't. No, Agbada. Agbada, you carry it. You carry it. No, listen. Our governor is a bit slim, so the Agbada just. He's always, no, he's like no, lost in no, there. No, I disagree with you. He's no, 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 but I said, Mr. Valentine is coming. This comment needs a serious. Anyways, so someone should wear Ankara jackets and everything. No, no, like, no, no, no. He looks really good. I like him. But the Agbada is he's Swiss. He's still Swiss. Hello, hello, hello. He's still foreign. Yes. He's still foreign. We have that shaky with the red materials now. It's how we are sewing it all. We have to run. That is all we can take on today's show. Well, bottom line, I think I have agreed with the ladies that the example must start from government. I'm not one to always yes. blame government because I try to always see things from their own perspective. But yeah, this one for dollar, let government start. When you start it, it becomes a culture that we imbibe and then everybody, oh, be, yeah. be, everybody, everybody starts to do that. All right, let's uh, wrap up the show. That's all we can take. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.